Hi, this is Norland with your motivational moments. Have you ever stopped to wonder about the statement that is made by many persons who have achieved anything in life? The statement that says that it's lonely at the top. If you look at the life of many of these people, you'll realize that they are so far ahead of their game and so much a cut above the rest that they truly can identify with that statement that it is lonely at the top. The question I'd like to ask you and the question I ask myself is, is it, is it not easy for us to populate the top with everybody else who is heading there? And who is it that stops you or stops me or stops anyone else from taking that journey? Every year and even now, hundreds of people gather in Nepal at the feet of the favorite, famous Mount Everest to make that trek. And no one is comfortable until they get to the top of that mountain, if they make it, to plant a flag, to leave a letter, to do some crazy thing that indicates that they made it, they did it, and that they have accomplished this phenomenal feat. Obviously, it did not start out with hundreds of people doing it. It started out with one person deciding, I will get to the top of that mountain. I will be the one to climb the highest mountain on earth. Today, many have done it because somebody led the way. I want to challenge you today to start climbing your mountain, to start stepping out in the thing that has been gnawing and nagging at your mind and your thoughts and your whole being. The thing that you cannot shake, the thing that you cannot put aside, the thing that you know that you know that you know that you know that only you can do. That fingerprint that you must make, that mark that you must make. The question may be, yes, other people are doing what you would like to do, but the fact is no one can do what you do like you. We would like to benefit from your brand and your take on this particular matter, this particular business. We want to hear what you have to say on that subject. We want to see your impression, as it were, your artist's impression of that particular aspect of life. Millions of books have been written and read, but we have read your book. Millions of meals have been made, but we haven't tasted your meal. Many, millions of fast food chains have been created, but we have not seen your chain. There are many people who have accomplished many things that resemble the thing that you want to accomplish, but we want to see your accomplishment. What is it that you will contribute to this earth? What mark is it that you will make? Of the almost 8 billion people on this planet, everybody has a mark to make. And God has set it up so that we are all unique. We are all rare. We are all complete individuals with totally different takes on life that must be contributed. I want to challenge you today to make your mark, to make your impact, to do the thing that you have been called to do. It's going to require you coming out of your comfort zone. It's going to require you stepping out of the crowd. It's going to require you not being willing to stay in your present position, but to move from your station and create a new station. It has been said that the person who is successful is the person who is going to not go where the path may lead, but to go where there is no path at all and create a path for themselves. In this season of great challenges, in this season of all forms of financial difficulties, oppression and depression, you may be the hope that we need for our nation, for this nation, for the nations and for the world at large. So I encourage you today, get to the top. It's lonely, but if you go, you will set a trend and a pace for me, for your children, and for your children's children. 
enjoy your day.